In this video we're going to take a look at basic vectors. Here we are told that ABCD is a parallelogram, M is the midpoint of DB and N is the midpoint of AB. Given that CA is equal to X, so the vector C to A is equal to X and the vector C to D is equal to Y, find the vectors AB, DB, BA and so on. Okay, so let's start with AB. <coughs> so AB, when we're talking about vectors, all that we really mean is a vector is a way of describing a direction and a distance. So we are describing a direction and a distance. So what we could say then is that if this is a parallelogram and we know that the vector C to D is being described as Y then what we could say is that the vector A to B that's exactly the same direction and it's exactly the same distance so we could just say that the vector A to B is Y. Okay let's take a look at DB again the same idea if we know that the vector C to A this direction and this distance is x then we could say because this is a parallelogram that d to b is the same direction and the same distance so we could call that x okay uh, b a so the vector b to a now what's happening here is we're not going from a to b we're not going in the direction of y we're going in the reverse direction of y so we are we are basically going in the same distance as y but we're going in reverse we're going in the opposite direction and so what we could say that is that b the vector b to a is minus y let's take a look at the vector b to d so again same idea here we are going in the reverse direction to d to b we know that d to b is x so if we're going in the reverse direction but the same distance that's going to give us negative x okay next one b to c now here we're going from this point up here down to this point over here now how could I get there well what I could say is that I could go from b to d then from d to C. So I'm going from B to D then D to C. Well how can I get from B to D? Well B to D I already know that is negative X and then how can I go from D to C? So I'm going again I'm going in the reverse direction of Y so that is negative Y. Okay let's take a look at D to M so D to M, and now this is where some information we were told earlier becomes important. So D to M, this point here, we're told that M is the midpoint of DB. Now we know that the vector for D to B is simply X. So this distance and direction from D to B is being described as X. Well what we could say then is we are going in the same direction but we're only going half of the distance, we're only going to the midpoint, the halfway point. So we're only going half of x. So d to m we could describe as half x. Okay, what about the vector a to n? Again, the same idea, we know that the vector a to b is y. That direction and that distance is being described as y. Now n is the midpoint of AB. So if we're only going half of the distance from A to B, we're going half in the direction of Y. Okay, next one, M to B. So from this point here to that point there, from M to B, the vector M to B, well again it's the same idea. We know, if we know that D to B is X, then m to b is only half of that distance so it's simply half x. Okay, 
next one b to n now this one is slightly trickier because now we're going well we're going in the opposite direction to y remember y is going in this direction we're going in the reverse direction but we're only going half of the way so what we could say is that we are going negative half y we're going in the reverse direction of y but we're only going half of the distance okay last one from m to n so in this one we need to go first of all we need to go from m to b then from b to n so m to b is half x because we're going only half of the distance in the direction that we know here is x so half x and then we are going back on ourselves. so we're going back we're going the reverse direction of y but again we're only going half so we could say <coughs> that it is minus half y.